In this video, you'll see how to manage software packages using AWS Code Artifact. With this service, you can manage your packages from a centralized repository, ingest packages from third-party repositories, and avoid the expense and effort of managing traditional repository infrastructure. With Code Artifact, your software packages are stored in repositories, and the repositories are stored in a domain. To get started, let's create a new domain. Artifacts in a domain are protected with an encryption key. You can choose your own managed key or let AWS create one for you when you create the domain. Let's look at the domain details. We can see ARNs for the domain. It's Amazon Simple Storage Service, or Amazon S3 bucket, and the encryption key. We can also see any domain policies and apply new ones. Sample policies are provided that allow you to set the governance type and limit access within the organization, if you want. Next, let's create a repository in this domain. Repositories are typically named for a project or development team. You can choose one or more public upstream repositories that connect your repository to official package authorities. For demonstration purposes, we'll select PyPI, the Python Package Index. This diagram provides a high-level overview of the package flow used by Code Artifact. Let's create the repository. In the details, we can see the repository domain, ARN, and the associated upstream repository. We can also apply a policy that's specific to this repository. As before, Sample policies are provided to allow different levels of access for IAM users and AWS organizations. After a repository is created, the next step is to connect it to a development environment. Let's review the connection instructions. Note that you must install one of the AWS CLI versions shown to connect to the repository. Connection instructions are specific to the selected package management service. Since our repository will be used to store artifacts from PyPI, we'll select PIP. In this case, two connection methods are provided. The first method lets us use pre-configured AWS credentials to connect to Code Artifact and to configure a connection to the repository using the AWS CLI. Please note that this method creates temporary credentials that expire after 12 hours. The second method uses a generated Code Artifact authentication token to authorize a development environment to connect to a Code Artifact repository. It also enables the package management tool to pull from and push to that repository using the token. In this case, we'll use the second method. First, we'll copy the Code Artifact authorization token. Next, let's head to our development environment to configure access to our Code Artifact repository. We're using the Cloud9 development environment, but the same instructions apply to any development environment, whether local or cloud-enabled. We will first set the Code Artifact authorization key as an environmental variable in our bash profile configuration file. Next, we'll source our bash profile to load it. Next, we'll print the Code Artifact authorization token variable to ensure it outputs a value. The next step is to configure pip to push and pull packages from our Code Artifact repository. We can copy the command from the connection instructions. Paste the command and execute it. Next, let's install an example package. Now that the package has finished installing, let's return to Code Artifact to ensure that the connection has been established. The example package, which is called response, has been added to our Code Artifact repository, along with other Python packages it depends upon. You can see the current version of each package. As more versions of this package are added, they will be available here. We can drill into the package version to see its description, dependencies, and assets. Now let's install a different version of the same package to ensure it shows up in the Code Artifact interface. Now both versions of the package are listed in the repository. 
You've just seen how to manage your software packages using AWS Code Artifact. Thanks for watching. Now it's your turn to try.